Oh, hi. Me again. Uh, Jack Van Breen from Guitar Showcase in San Jose, California. Uh, and aside, I'm sitting in our uh, precious vintage room, or the vault as some call it. I'm surrounded by, I'm not allowed to tell you how much the value is. The insurance company frowns on that kind of thing. But we've got some 50s and 60s Stratocasters, some 50s and 60s and 70s Les Pauls. You know, a few of each. You can do the math yourself. Just go out on eBay. Anyway, um, I'm going to talk today about electric guitars. Uh, I've talked in the past, and I'll talk again in the future, about acoustic guitars and what kind of properties to look at, and what some of the differences are. Uh, you notice I'm tuning. Yes, there's an app for that. Tuning the guitar without the amplifier and without plugging in. And kind of the point, we'll just get rid of this for now. The point is, is a lot of people skip right past one of the most important properties of an electric guitar. And that's the acoustical properties. What does the guitar sound like without the amplifier? You know, as a retail person, I hear a lot of times people going, well, I'll just get better pickups, you know, and it'll sound better. And I'm going... If you're not happy with the guitar like this, you can spend thousands, and I know guys who have, swapping pickups out, swapping pickups out, looking for that elusive tone, that sustain, which actually comes from the body. Now, this happens to be what is known as a standard Stratocaster in polite circles. Some of us used to call it the Mexican Stratocaster because that's where it's assembled. Uh, when they first started building these guitars, they would take the blanks, the blank neck, the blank body from the American plant, send it across the border to the Mexican plant, and then they'd put in the frets, they'd finish the body, they'd wire up the pickup harness and put it together, and you'd have a Stratocaster assembled in Mexico out of mostly American parts. Now this has changed over the years. Uh, the Mexican facility has grown, and in fact, at one point, when the original plant burned down, Bill Schultz, then president of the factory, gathered the entire crew from Mexico together and said, Hey, y'all still got jobs. Don't worry about it. Go home, relax. We'll keep you on the payroll. We'll get this plant up running again. Called the factory in Corona and said, Do we have the plans for the plant? They said, Yes, bring them down here. And they built virtually an identical plant in Mexico. So whether the guitar is assembled in Mexico or, or America, it's on the same machines with the same degree of skill. That said, you can get a pretty decent guitar. Uh, there was a longtime Fender employee who was quoted as saying, if you want to buy a Stratocaster that, like we built in the 60s, buy the Mexican Standard. And it's a decent little guitar. <laughs> So the first thing to talk about is, if the guitar doesn't sound good like this, it won't sound good like this. I think that sounds pretty good myself. Uh, for those of you who care, we're playing it through the uh, Mesa Boogie uh, Electrodyne. Uh, the Mesa for dummies, perhaps? No, I shouldn't say that. But it's true. It's only got six knobs. Uh, but it does have three gain stages, so you can play clean, dirty, and oh my goodness. But we'll talk about that in another segment. So, let's talk about the Stratocaster. Um, has a warm place in my heart. The first Stratocaster I ever owned was a 5758. I'm not exactly sure. All I know is that I looked at my Strat, and I looked at the back of Layla and other love songs, and I'm going, hey, he's got my guitar. Unfortunately... The original Stratocasters had a seven and a half inch radius, or seven and a quarter, details, where the neck curves, you can't really see it on the video, but if you look at, from this direction, you'll see there's an arc. And the original ones were seven and a quarter, which is fairly steep, and had these little tiny frets. And what that did for a 17 year old guitar player was you do a lot of this. Or fret out. And it didn't sound very good. So I learned quickly on that at 17 years old, I wasn't quite a good enough guitar player to play a Strat. 
Yeah, you heard me. I wasn't a good enough guitar player to play a Strat. That would change later. So then I went to Gibson's. And uh, Gibson's had a, a little shallower radius, larger frets. Uh, it was easier for me to play, plus a more forgiving tone. We'll talk about that in a second when we go to those. But Stratocaster, triple pickup. You have your bridge pickup. <laughs> You play that country stuff. Nice rocking rhythms. Uh, the ubiquitous out of phase position. Technically, I don't know if it's out of phase or not. Made famous by. I really love that tone. And the original Strats had a three position switch bridge, middle, and neck. And you had to kind of jostle around to get that. So you can play that bluesy stuff that Eric Clapton made so popular in the early 70s. He may not have been the first one to do it, but he was the one to popularize it. You can get to the neck pickup, back off the treble a little bit. Play a little bit of sweet jazz. So, as an instrument, the Stratocaster is extremely versatile. You can play rock, you can play blues, you can play jazz, you can play country. I should get that better. All in one guitar, which is, if you're lucky enough to not break strings, you can do a wide variety of material on the Stratocaster. Um, Longer scale, 25 and a half, I believe. I'm not real good at specs, as you've learned in the past. I don't pay much attention to the specs. I pay attention to uh, how does it play. So, at your basic Stratocaster, was born in 1954, uh, and has pretty much taken over the world. You'll find more Strat-style guitars than just about anything else, and it's because of their versatility. People started putting humbucking pickups in it, putting a flatter fretboard on it. There's another brand, Ibanez, that's real good at that. Uh, there's Jackson's, Charvel's, ESP, Schecter's. They all build some kind of hot rod Stratocaster for the heavier sounding kind of player. But still, when you get right down to it, it's still a Strat. Very versatile. 